Jimmy, I've been concerned about your descent into abject poverty. How are things? To be honest, which is hard for me around cops, not too good. You're not considering a return to a life of crime, are you? To be dishonest, which is way more up my alley, no, not at all. Take solace, Jimmy. Sweet Mother Canada stands at the bottom of the abyss, waiting to cradle you in the silky embrace of her social safety net. Say again, in American? Tomorrow, I want you to march down to the Service Canada office and apply for employment insurance. What the hell is that? It's just like unemployment insurance, except they put a positive spin on the name so the indigent don't feel like enormous blood-sucking leeches. Which, of course, they are not. Who sucked what? Trust me, Jimmy, your adopted nation has your back. For Canada, where you can get money for nothing, but the chicks aren't free! Jimmy, your sense of humor is like a fresh breeze off the Canadian Rockies. Do I look like I'm joking? Seriously, tell me, because I can't see my own face. What a card you are, Jimmy. These are for Cookie's birthday. Oh, crap! Listen, you gotta help me out. Give me those flowers! Certainly not. I cultivated, picked, and arranged these myself. Well, would you look at that? Special Agent McCool remembered what Mr. What's for Breakfast over here forgot. Thank you, McCool. You are most welcome. Many happy returns, Cookie. For Canada, where no one forgets your birthday! If Cookie finds out this broad stalking me, she's gonna go ballistic! She'll kill Svetanka, I'll be next, and a couple of the kids might get clipped in the crossfire. It'll be a bloodbath! But surely she won't blame you. You're an innocent victim here. Clearly you've never been married. And don't call me a victim. It makes me sound like a candy ass. Jimmy, don't you see? You're keeping a secret from your wife. That's just as bad as cheating. Again, clearly, you've never been married. Cookie's your partner for life. Are you gonna start with that quality time crap again? Cause that's what got me into this shit show. I know this is highly implausible considering your background, but I think you should tell the truth. You think? All right, today's as good a day to die as any. But just to be safe, I'll take Svetanka into protective custody in the morning. For Canada, where most men would pay to be stalked by hot Russian girls. Mummy, you don't have to turn on the red light. <sighs> wow, what a trip. Won't be doing that again. Oh, look, Petey called. Thundering Thunder Bay, Jimmy. <laughs> Gallop like the wind horse, Jimmy's in trouble. For Canada, where friendship trumps infection every time. Hey, McCool, thanks for meeting me. We had a little scare and I'm gonna need some rubbers. A case a week should do. Don't tell God. <sighs> Can't you just buy them at the drugstore? What? You could just walk in and buy them up here? In the old neighborhood, you needed a sit down with Father O'Malley and the doctor's note. I had a connection upstate. One of the first guys to carry the French tickler. Are we finished here, Jimmy? McCool, what gives? Who died? Oh, just my career. A letter intended for my lady friend was mistakenly mailed to Premier O'Shea's office. So slap the mailman around. A fellow civil servant? Never. The problem is the letter contained photos of me. Playfully erotic ones. Oh! Ooh. When the Premier returns from his trade mission to Las Vegas, I'll be fired. Or at the very least, reassigned to one of Canada's bleaker outposts. Like Toronto. You have to text your dirty pictures, like I do. A true gentleman does not text boudoir photographs to a lady. It's a picture of your bing bong. Quit trying to class it up. You're right. There's nothing classy about what I did. But Canada, where all degenerates wind up in Toronto. Fear not, Cookie. I came as soon as I heard. No time for pleasantries. I'd better get inside. But may I say, it's a glorious morning today. Damn it, McCool, there's no time. No shit. Get in there and save my daughter. For Canada, where we downplay our increasingly frequent gun violence. I'd appreciate it if you could keep Riff Raff like Scotty McBozo off of my doorstep. But you're a McDougal now. The Scottish community is finally inviting you into the fold. You just had to go and make me Scottish, didn't you? 
Why couldn't you just make me Italian? Because you'd have been too easily identified as ex-mafioso. Oh, so Italian automatically means mob to you? You racist sack of shit. I ought to put one in your head, run your body through a meat grinder, and bury you in cement! But I take your point. So you'll attend the games then? Not a chance. If you refuse this challenge, the Scottish Canadian Times will brand you a coward. You'll wind up on their shite list, along with other things Scottish people hate, like the Queen, underwear, and fresh vegetables. Do you want your friends back home to find your picture in gear, Jimmy? I guess not. Then have fun at the games for Canada, where every culture gets a ridiculous summer fair. Jimmy, the days of drive through liquor at alcoholic enabling prices are behind you. Mother Canada is here to save you from yourself. For Canada, where no one has fun after 9 p.m. <laughs> Except in Quebec. So, what did she say? Good news, Jimmy. There's absolutely no risk of her informing on you. In fact, she's in more danger from the mob than you are. You merely broke a blood oath that you swore on your life to uphold. She turned into a lady. They hate that. Mm. Don't be that way, Jimmy. She's a delightful person with a wonderful sense of humor and a sparkling personality. Don't get any ideas, big guy. So now what? Do you make her disappear or do I? Disappear? Au contraire, I suggest you spend some time with her before she leaves town. I, too, lost my father at a young age, and not a day goes by I don't wish for a chance to speak to him again. To say, Father, why do you care more about huffing gasoline and chasing Thai ladyboys than you do your own son? But alas, I cannot. This is a gift, Jimmy. Open it. I think I'll just return it for store credit. Family is for life. All sales are final. For Canada! Where it's not gay to be with a transgender! Cover your ears, Petey. I am about to do something most un-Canadian. Wait, we don't need to use unnecessary violence. Observe. Spectacular! Physics. It's nature's policeman. Come along, little trooper. For Canada, where no one turns a blind eye to police brutality! So, can you take care of it or not? Well, yes, it would take just a few simple keystrokes to enter a high school diploma into your file. Great, see you later. But I won't do it. Why not? Jimmy, I can't deprive you of this invaluable learning opportunity. Sure you can. Go ahead, deprive me. I was looking for something to give up for Lent anyway. Jimmy, education is the very cornerstone of society. What kind of friend would I be if I took that experience away from you? The kind I don't want to whack in the face with a two-by-four? Oh, how I envy you. Jimmy, you're about to embark on a voyage across the sea of knowledge, a sea peppered with islands of information, archipelagos of insight, and atolls of wisdom. You are one lucky bastard. Right back at you, minus the lucky pot. See? You're already doing math. For Canada, where you don't need to play football to afford college! It's just you and me, CZ Top. Bringeth it on. Yeah! <laughs> Quite enough, gentlemen. Jimmy, roll down your sleeves, unclench your fists, and take a chill pill. You, sir, pitch that pitchfork. What the hell are you doing here? There was a noise complaint from the neighboring Hutterite colony. <sighs> Meddling Hutterites. Come, my good man, let us return you to your gentle ways of peace and misogyny. These outsiders will bother you no more. A Canada, where you can live as you want, as long as you keep it down. 